I'm here checking out the all new Series 2 Odyssey Super Camper. And I've got to say, this is one of the neatest camper trailers you'll ever set foot in. The quality and attention to detail is second to none. And when it comes to tackling that big lap, well, you won't find a more comfortable camper trailer. So what do you reckon? Let's go check it out. It's really easy to see the kitchen side of things has been very well thought out. You've got heaps of bench space, heaps of storage space, like a big drawer like this, and everything is really high quality. What I really like is this side return here. Gives you that little bit more preparation area, which comes in really handy. Now, as you can see, you've got a nice big and spacious ensuite. You've also got two 140 litre water tanks, which means you've got 280 litres all up. That's pretty good. You've also got a gas hot water system, which is pre-plumbed straight to the kitchen and the shower. This camp has been designed with off-road touring in mind. You've got a full one-piece chassis with recovery points. You've got a DO35 hitch along with a 30 degree departure angle. You've also got independent trailing arm suspension and dual shock absorbers. You know, this van really is quite comfortable, but the best part about it is it's nice, quick and easy to set up. In fact, you can have the whole lot done in about 10 minutes, that's with the kettle boiling. On the inside of the camper trailer, it really is designed well. You've got a nice and comfortable lounge, you've got plenty of storage there under the bed. Then, when it's time to go to sleep, all you've got to do is pop the table to the side, grab your bed base and pop it down and you're ready to go. Inside the electrical box is where all the magic happens. You've got two 120 amp hour deep cycle batteries, up to 300 watts of solar power, a BS30 Red Arc battery management system. You've even got a pure sine wave 1000 watt inverter. It's pretty cool. One of the things that sets this camper trailer aside is the internal kitchen. It means you can still cook meals even when it's raining outside. You've got a nice big fridge which is upright and you can still access from the outside door if you have to. Plus you've got inverter mains power right there, so you can still use all of your cooking accessories. A nice little final touch is the soft closed drawers. Just touch them in and look at them go. To ensure you're kept nice and warm while you're away camping, you've got the Wabasco diesel heater. You've also got the trauma hot water system which is plumbed directly to the kitchen and to the shower. When you're travelling down dirt roads, one of the major problems for most camper trailers is getting dust inside. But for this particular model, it's not a problem. The main reason being the inside of the cabin is actually pressurised which keeps the dust out. You've got an internal filter which is nice and fine and all the camper trailers are fully smoke tested. Wow, what a great, great camper. Just the finishes are beautiful, the engineering is unique and superb. It's just a, a really, really good camper. Just the, the engineering of things like the, the pop-up roof. 24 points of connection so that that roof can't walk and move for dust sealing. It's, uh, the whole camper all over is just completely dust tight. It's just really well engineered. Now this trailer is aimed at the empty nesters. Um, sure they've got their kids options, but fair income, if you buy this trailer you don't want to spoil your trip by having your kids in there. This is beautiful. You've got options inside and out for cooking. If, if you want to prepare inside or boil some water or do something or the weather turns on you, you can cook inside, but you've also got outside in the traditional barbecue area. You couldn't run out of water. It's got the, uh, so much water, you've got, you got so much gas, you've got so much power grunt. You can carry your food, but really you couldn't carry enough beer for the time you could actually spend out in the bush enjoying yourself in this one. This is a beauty. I really like the fact that it's got a really easily accessed and really easily erected little shower tent out the back and it's huge. Also to go along with that, we've also got a porta potty in a recess inside the cabinetry. So you've got that flexibility, doesn't matter what you want to do, but nothing like a good outside shower either. The bed can be in there fully made up, lifts it up, heaps more storage space. You don't sort of need to go setting the bed up every time you want to get in and out. But for me, the appeal is the, uh, the details, as always, you know. Underneath, the suspension is strong, the chassis is thick, you know. There's just uh, a lot of little thought that's gone into just bits and pieces here and there to make sure that it's really gonna last the distance when you go to those remote places.